Hey my friends, buckle up, because today I gonna hit you with a crazy load of nostalgia. For Avicii. We are looking together into the science of Hidma Karavasi, and how he produced one of his most successful songs of all time. Waiting for love. If you know Avicii, you know that he wasn't a big mixing or sound design nerd. He even wasn't really into hard club music. He always used simple presets from common synthesizers as Nexus 2, Selenth 1. Zeta, and more, and he was all about songwriting, composition, good chord progressions, and great melodies. In summary you could say, he was a true hit maker. Back in the days of 2012, he understood the combination with EDM and pop music. He really revolutionized the way EDM was produced and how it could be introduced to the mainstream. He collaborated with great singers, and he also attached great importance to the actual lyrics and meaning into his songs which always triggered emotions when listening to his music. Wow. Tim Bergling, a real pioneer of music production and songwriting. We will always remember you. Wow. That made me kinda emotional. But we have to go into the tutorial now. As I said, he really made sure to have a strong and meaningful message in his songs. The perfect example are the lyrics of his song Waiting for Love. Monday left me broken Tuesday through with hoping Wednesday my empty arms were open Thursday waiting for love waiting for love thank the stars it's Friday I'm burning like a fire gone wild on Saturday guess I won't be coming to church on Sunday I'll be waiting for love waiting for love to come around guys don't tell this to anybody but the lyrics and the music video could bring me to tears these are really the foundation of his hits to have really strong vocals around the vocal avacy really liked to use fast paced piano chords that have that avacy kind of style and energy in the most of pop songs you have a simple repeating pattern of three or four chord which are repeating over and over again that's a formula that just works but, Avicii often went a step further, and he gave his hits more finesse through a slightly more complex chord structure. I mean, look into this midi. This progression and melody is the perfect example for a simple but extremely catchy melody. The next thing that made Avacy special was his arrangement. Everything about his arrangements was really well thought out and he does everything with a specific intention. For example, the piano chords in his song Waiting for Love isn't just repeating over and over again. It changes up many times throughout the entire song. The MIDI I showed you before was used for the intro to really hook the listener right from the beginning. But as the vocals came in, he put a very strong filter automation that cut out the high frequencies. With this technique he made space for the vocals. And it really keeps the attention from the listener. Well there's a will, there's a way, kinda beautiful. And every night has a state so magical. It is a really simple technique but it was so well done by him. He even switched the chord a bit throughout the song to make the dynamic of the track as diverse as possible. Listen to this progression right here. Monday left me broken, Tuesday I was through with hoping, Wednesday my empty arms were open, Thursday waiting for love, waiting for love. It is slightly different than the one before and it gives this track so much more variation. He also uses two different versions of piano chords for the drop. In the drop his piano chords have the most energy because he layers them with some synth chords. And he uses a dotted rhythm. <music> Guys, when you study this track. You can really see how well thought out this is, and how everything has its purpose when it comes to arrangement, chord progression and melody. It's fantastic. You can really see that his focus was to create something he believes in, and what he liked. The focus wasn't on mixing or mastering or the technical things. The mix isn't even that clean if you ask me, but in the whole context it just works. So, 
The next important thing when talking about Avasi are his melodies. I don't know how he does this, but his melodies were always on point, I mean. The original preset for the pluck is from Synth Master 2, and it's called Synchrow UK, and I think he layered it with maybe a Selenth pluck or Nexus pluck. I don't have Synth Master 2, so I tried to recreate it with my serum presets and it sounds quite accurate also. By the way, you can get these entire FLP with all the used samples and presets for absolutely free because I love you. First link in the description. For the lead presets he used a preset from the very old plugin called Zeta, the Crispy Arp C1. I remember downloading this VST when I was a little boy using FL9. Wow, back in the days. If only I had known where this whole thing could have led me, I was there so early, but whatever. It sound great. He layered it with a Pulse AM and a guitar lead from Selenth 1. By the way, make sure to check out TPH Music because I got all this secret source from his YouTube video and FLP. Check out his channel. Link in the description also. When it comes to the sound selection, Avisi was pretty straightforward thinking. As I already said, he just used presets and took the ones he liked the most. And he liked to use cracked VSTs. Ha 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 ha. In the drop for example he used the vinyl strings too from Nexus to make the mix a bit thicker. For the synth chords he almost always uses the 5th Prophet preset. The same one Martin Garrix used a lot back in the days. It was the signature sound from Garrix. Even for the arpeggio, my first thought was, oh wow, how he made this amazing sounding arp, and it comes out that it is just the 5th Prophet preset again. Ha ha ha. This is quite astonishing. And guys, the drums are so freaking simple, that I wouldn't even have to mention it. It is just a simple kick, with some snares, hi-hats and so on. Also for the transitions. So, and that's already it my friends. He haven't used 20 different layers of sounds. 3, 4, 5 will do the job usually. No fancy sound designing and impressing effects. Just pure love for real music. He made something that is timeless. And that is something only few people achieve. May he rest in peace. Tim Bergling, we love you. This transition is kinda hard. But, let's listen to the final result together my boys and thinking about the great times we had back then. But, make sure to download this entire FLP for free to go deeper into the mixing and everything. I am sure you can learn a lot from it. And I also made 200 presets for Serum in all kinds of EDM styles. You can download that also for free. Click on the link from my pinned comment. So friends, fasten your seat belts, because now nostalgia hits.
that can't be defeated. For every tyrant to tear for the vulnerable. Wednesday my empty arms were open Thursday waiting for love, waiting for love Thank the stars, it's Friday I'm burning like a fire gone wild on Saturday Guess I won't be coming to church on Sunday I'll be waiting for love, waiting for love To come around Thanks for watching. I love you.